I'm back. Welcome back, everybody, to Hashtag Bet That. I am your host, Mike Knox. And indeed, I spell my name with three X's because like the 11 and 5 record I had in week four, I am hard. Core people, listen, I am your fan's favorite fan and your hater's favorite hater because every fan has a little bit of hate inside of them. Make sure you follow me on the Twitter. I am loud. I speak loud. And frankly, fellas, hey, if you're not making her get loud, that's your fault. I just told you how to spell it with three X's. Also, you make sure you follow the station with all the identification where you can find me at on 1340 AM Fox Sports and also follow the show, the pros and icons. Listen to hashtag Soul in sports. I mean, that's at soul in sports. Well, hell, the hashtag and the at, you can find us all there at the same damn time in the same damn place each and every same damn week, giving you hashtag bet that because it's my job to do one thing and one thing only, people, and that is show you the money. And I plan on continuing to do that, people. Now, I am now sporting a 32-26 and 26 record going into week five. And as I said repeatedly over and over and over again, this thing is chess, not checkers. And the first three weeks in the NFL are the hardest weeks to handicap because you don't know who's doing what. But now we know as they circle the wagons like the Buffalo Bills, so is Mike Knox circling the hashtag bet that and the lock it ups of the week. Yet again, undefeated. When it comes to my locks and upsets of the week, well, I've lost once this year, but you get my gym. I mean, you're so damn good in locks of the week. You just feel like you're undefeated, but it's okay. Only person undefeated is Floyd Money Mayweather, right? So with that being said, let's get into this week's picks. We got America's team, Broadway, Brady and the boys. Hashtag Tom Brady does not cover. The New England Patriots have not been covering. This defense has more holes in it. You know what I gotta say, because it's, it's like easy to say, right? Like Swiss cheese. I mean, I don't even like Swiss cheese. Like, well, that's not true. If you put on some turkey, some really good oven roasted turkey, Swiss cheese can be pretty damn good. But that defense is not pretty damn good. Now we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're, we don't know what they really are, but they're at home against New England. And I'll tell you one thing. This is a this is a straight up a, a game that you gotta be leery of. This is, a, this is a catch game for both teams. New England is desperate. They want this win. Everybody thinks the Madden curse has taken and reared its ugly head again. But people, the Madden curse is about injuries. At least when I remember, that's what it was about. Not just wins and losses. And this season is far from being over there 2-2. Two and two. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense is really there. But can the defense keep up with New England's defense? They got New England coming into Tampa Bay. Favorite by five and a half. Give me Tampa Bay to cover the five and a half. Moving on to the, the battle of 0 and 8. Now, people, we ought to know here, the Giants of New York has not won since Odell Beckham took them out on the boat tour, right? Since the boat trip with Trey Songs and all them taking pictures with their shirts off like they're in a bad episode of The Wire or in a bad episode of Oz. I don't know what to tell you. You got a bad episode of Oz. You got a, a team that hasn't won since that's happened. You got the Chargers who get booed at home and have more fans for in Philadelphia coming to their stadium than them. But here you go. Four points on the board for the Chargers against the Chargers against for the Giants. Plus four for the Chargers. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about the four points in New York. Give me the hashtag. Do not touch this game. I repeat, do not touch this game. Why? Because you don't know what you're going to get. Then you got the Cincinnati Bengals at home against the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo's the underdog by three points after coming back with the upset against the Denver Broncos last week. Cincinnati is also that team you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah, they put a thumping on Cleveland, but it's Cleveland. They're supposed to put a thumping on Cleveland. Give me the Buffalo Bills to cover the three points. Then we got Cleveland at home taking on the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. And guess what? The Jets ain't playing Miami. The Jets ain't playing Jacksonville. And they're not playing Tampa Bay, who I don't even think they play this year. But my point is the Jets can only beat teams in. Florida, they're going to Cleveland. The fact that your sadness gets their first win of the season. Give me Cleveland in the one point. Then we got Jacksonville 
going to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh here by nine points. Remember, double-digit point spreads in the NFL are disrespectful. Well, it's not double-digit, it's nine. Hey, Brown is mad. He's not getting the ball. He's slipping off all kind of Gatorade things. You got the quarterback call him out, Ben Reitlisberger. It doesn't matter. Pittsburgh puts it together. It shows why they are one of the pinnacles of the NFL. Give me the black and yellow, black and yellow. Pittsburgh throws the cover to eight and a half right there. Then we got Tennessee minus, we don't know yet, Marcus Mariota going to Miami Favorite by three points on the road. Miami just can't seem to score. You got you got my man, Jay Cutum up, just sitting on the sidelines, smoking a cigarette while he's on the field, on the sidelines at the same damn time. I don't know. I know one thing I do know. That's not, I'm not putting my money on the Miami Dolphins. And guess what? Without Tennessee knowing who's their quarterback, I want to say Tennessee. If you want to go Tennessee, you know what? I would go ahead and say hashtag bet that, but I'm going to say hashtag do not touch Tennessee. Then we got the Indianapolis Colts. At home, favored by two points over San Francisco. San Francisco got thumped not too long ago, but I got San Francisco winning this game against Arizona. Give me San Francisco. Then we got my E A G L E S Eagles, the best team in the NFC East. Or, I mean, really, are they? They're three and one, but are they really the best team in the NFC East? I don't know. But I also don't know is that they can beat Arizona by seven. I got the Eagles winning the game, but give me Arizona to cover the six and a half. Give me Arizona to cover the six and a half. Give me Arizona to cover the six and a half. Then we got Detroit, favored by three points, two and a half on the road. I mean, at home against Carolina, who's on the road. Cam Newton's back. Detroit is back. This is a game that you got to have some balls to call. And guess what, guys? I got them the size of grapefruits. Give me Cameron Newton on the road with my upset special to beat the best team in the NFC uh, Northern Division. Give me Carolina upset Detroit. Lock it up. No, you lock it up. I said lock it up. Give me Carolina to cover and, and beat Detroit outright. Then we got the Rams favorite against Seattle by two points in L.A. The Rams are on all cylinders. Seattle, we don't know what you're going to get. This team's match up every year, and it's always one wins one where another one wins somewhere else. Guess what? Seattle wins this game in the two points, the one and a half. Give it to me. Seattle covers the two. Then we got Oakland at home minus, minus. Oh, it's such a sad day when you say, just win, baby, just win as Carr is out. Give me Baltimore, who's two and a half underdogs. We don't know what they're getting. This is another battle. I can't believe I'm going to have three games this week where I have hashtag do not touch. I repeat, hashtag do not touch this game. And I'm still going to say if you want to take a winner, I'm going to go with Oakland as well because they're the favorite, but I'm not touching this game. Then we got Dallas at home, uh, favored by two points. Over the Packers of Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers, the baddest man on the planet. Give me the Green Bay Packers to go into Dallas and upset the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas offense is for real, but their defense is not. Then we got Kansas City, long undefeated team, favored by two points on the road against Houston. We got the boy Watson getting his first nationally televised game in the NFL. Houston is just Woo! Give me what you don't got. And guess what, people? I got it again. Houston will beat the undefeated Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday Night Football in Houston. Then we got the Monday Nighter as we got the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Chicago Bears in Chicago. Another rookie makes his primetime debut as Mitchell Trubisky gets the start in Chicago. Will it be enough to beat Minnesota? I don't know. And because of the rookie getting his first start on Monday Night Football against the Vikings of Minnesota, I'm going to go with Minnesota. And guess what? Lock it up. Minnesota wins this game. So here you go, guys, from the bottom to the top because we here. Minnesota by three. Houston with the upset by one and a half covering over Kansas City. We got the Packers of Green Bay beating the Dallas Cowboys. We got the hashtag do not touch the game between Oakland and Baltimore. We got the Seattle Seahawks underdogs by one and a half beating the Los Angeles Rams. We got Carolina by upset of the week beating the Detroit Lions. We got the Eagles winning the game but not covering, so we're taking Arizona to cover the seven points. We got San Francisco covering against Indianapolis. We got the second hashtag, do not touch. The Tennessee Titans go 
against the Miami Dolphins. But if you want to touch it, I'll tell you to touch it. So you touch it like, listen, I didn't tell him to touch you. And if he's touching you in improper positions and improper places, you should tell somebody, okay? That's just, listen, he shouldn't touch you, okay? He shouldn't come in your room and say, I want to see how clean you are, okay? Give me Tennessee. Then we got the Pittsburgh Steelers beating Jacksonville. We got the Cleveland Browns getting their first win against the New York Football Jets. We got Buffalo beating Cincinnati. We got the first and last do not touch game of the two 0 and 4 teams. And the Los Angeles Chargers takes on the Giants. Of New York City, but if you gotta pick a team that hasn't won a game and those guys hasn't won a game, like I said, like a bad episode of Oz on the boat with these shirts off and everything, I'll take the Giants because they're at home. Then we got Tampa Bay to cover against New England. Uh, you know what? F that. Bet that. Hashtag bet that. Outright give me Tampa Bay to upset the New England Patriots. So here you go from the top to the bottom, and I'm done. So you better get it while you can. Hashtag bet that. Tampa Bay. Do not touch. Buffalo, the Jets will lose to the Cleveland Browns. Pittsburgh, do not touch me if you do take Tennessee. Then I got San Francisco, Arizona, Carolina, Seattle. Do not touch Oakland and Baltimore. If you want to touch somebody, touch it, baby. Bring it, breathe it, breathe it, breathe it. Back and forth, it, touch your matic. Give me Oakland. Then we got the Packers of Green Bay over Dallas. We got Houston. Over Kansas City in my lock of the week. Minnesota over Chicago. Upset over the week. Carolina over Detroit. Remember, guys, go to www1340 AM Fox Sports. Go to iTunes. Go to Stitcher. Go to Google Play. If you got a podcast and you want to listen to one, come listen to the Soul and Sports. And yours truly, Mike Knox. Remember, people, hashtag bet that.